Avanda League's local government nomination board meeting held at Gonopopo. International Crimes Tribunal to deliver as a judgment tomorrow of killing of Ranada Prashad Shah. And the Rainbow's Monastery visited victims who endured in Molovi Bazaar's rail accident. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozia Roshan Akhtar with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines. Now I'm going to the details. A Vama League's local government nomination board meeting was held at Gonobhobon. The meeting began at 11 p.m. The meeting is being presided over by a Vama League president, local government nomination board president, and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The meeting of the local government nomination board was called to nominate the nominated candidates for vacant positions in different districts, upazila, and municipalities of the country. In the meeting, the nomination of the party candidate for a municipality mayor and the 70 union parishads has been finalized. The International Crimes Tribunal is set to deliver as a judgment on Thursday in a case filed against Mahbubu Rahman over crimes against humanity including killing of philanthropist Ranada Prashad Shah and his son in 1971. The three-member tribunal led by Justice Muhammad Shahinur Islam on Wednesday set the date of pronouncement of the verdict in the case. Earlier on March 28 and 2018, the tribunal firmed three charges against Mahbub Rahman of Mizanur in Tangail for laced of wartime crimes including the abduction and the killing of philanthropist Ranada Prashad Shah and his son. He was also charged with abduction and the killing of 55 others in two separate incidents in 1971. Mobile court operated by Dhaka North City Corporation have evicted over 200 illegal installations after a one-hour drive. Executive Magistrate of Dhaka North City Corporation Nahid Ahsan conducted the drive in front of the Bangu Hospital and Passport Office in the capital. He said the campaign will continue to stop the suffering of common people and restore order on the road. Mass people appreciated the drive. Railways Manasta Muhammad Nurul Islam visited victims who endured in Molovi Bazaar's rail accident that claimed four lives at Sulet MAG Osmani Medical College Hospital on Wednesday at 10 15 a.m. The two ministers raced to Sulhat by the same train that derailed on Sunday. The railways minister declared that each family of the deceased will get a taka 1 lakh and each injured person will get a taka 10,000. He said two committees were formed to investigate the rail accident and the proof report will be received on Thursday. Two auto rickshaw passengers were killed and seven others wounded after a truck struck the vehicle at Polashi Bazar in Adit Mario Pazila of Lal Monirhat on Wednesday. The accident happened on Lal Monirhat Burimari Highway around 7 p.m. Among the seven injured, four of them are in critical conditions as they are undergoing treatment at protests brought out on both sides of the highway, blocking movement of hundreds of trucks and buses. Police are trying to calm the city. <laughs> Welcome back to my TV news and thanks for being with us. A fire triggered by a blast of a microbus gas cylinder left around 15 people burnt at Pataya in Chotogram. The accident took place at a place adjacent to Pula Shobha's PTI training center when the vehicle was on its way from Shah Amanat International Airport towards Chandanaish around 11.45 p.m. on Tuesday, according to police. Twelve of them were admitted to the Chotugram Medical College Hospital's burn unit, police said. All of them are believed to be members of a family that went to the airport to receive 
or C of a relative, the postman said. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit www.youtube.com/mytvbgnews. And to watch all your programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com/mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7:30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.